I cannot. Unanimous decision today to front up again and answer more questions. Uh, you would be aware that I have answered numerous questions in estimates uh, over many, many days and weeks now. I will not be bullied by the Australian Labor Party. I am not the relevant minister. Craig Laundy is the relevant minister. I will attend estimates when I am the responsible minister. Uh, Phil, 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 hold on, Phil. I, sorry, Does this, Phil. Does this mean you don't intend uh, to, to uh, attend the court as required by the Supreme Court? I, I will comply with the legal process. And, uh, Phil, as part of that process, I have issued instructions to the lawyers uh, to have the subpoena set aside. On what basis do you think it should be set aside? Uh, and are you confident that that will happen given that the court uh, refused that application in December? Uh, well, as I said, uh, they did not refuse that application in December. Uh, the majority of that subpoena was actually set aside and the documents that were provided, uh, we were very happy to provide. Mm. There was some misreporting, actually, uh, in relation to that. Um, again, uh, I have issued instructions for the subpoena to be set aside, and I don't intend to now play the court process out publicly. Mr. Clarify, you're, you're saying that you've been bullied by uh, Labor on this, but my question is, uh, you, this is the first time we've seen you at a major press conference in some months. You haven't been out in public all that much until the last month. This is constraining your your capacity to do your job and to sell the government's message on jobs, isn't it? Oh, I completely disagree. Uh, during budget week, I think I was out three times uh, a day. I am out there every other day talking to the Australian people uh, about jobs. And I tell you, the feedback is incredibly positive. When you talk to people about what the government said they would do in 2013, mm -hmm. we would create a million jobs within five years. When you go and sit down with them and say, can I now give you the actual statistics? This is not Michaelia Cash talking. This is not Malcolm Turnbull talking. Let me give you the statistics. The economy has created a million jobs in less than five years. That's what Australians outside of you know, Canberra are actually excited about. And what they want the government to do is now say, great, you created a million jobs or you put in place the right economic conditions to create a million jobs. What's the next challenge? And the next challenge for us is to ensure that the economy continues to create jobs. Yes, you are hiding behind the whiteboard. Uh, the oh, whiteboard. can I just... Can we go be very clear? OK. The, uh, I had nothing to do with the whiteboard. Can I tell you, you think you were surprised? You should have seen the look on my face. I was the one who was surprised. I believe it's parliamentary security have taken full responsibility for what occurred. We advised many journalists of that on the night. Uh, reports, unfortunately, were not changed, uh, but they have answered questions on notice and they have been very, very clear. I had nothing to do with it. My office had nothing to do with it. Um, that was something that the Department of Parliamentary Minister, Services the took subpoena. upon Minister, themselves. Minister, back to the subpoena. A federal court judge has Last issued time. this subpoena uh, on what grounds should it be set aside? Oh, well, again, I'm not a party to the proceedings, but also, David, I think you would respect the fact that this is a part of a court process. I'm not going to play the court process um, out publicly. Andrew. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, I think there are two subpoenas in reference to you. One is about attendance and the other one is production of documents. Oh, I think it's are, the same subpoena. Are, are, there, are there documents um, that you've seen uh, that show that you you were part of an email exchange, for example, um, that, uh, that showed the media had been tipped off about the rape? Uh, not to my knowledge, absolutely and not. And I have complied to, with all subpoenas. Uh, I complied with the uh, order to produce the documents back in be January. Minister, so wouldn't you be better just to front up to estimates this week, answer the questions, than have this impression created that you're covering up? Michelle, with all due respect, I am absolutely not covering up. I am standing here at this point in time. How many journos are here? 15, 20 of you. I'm on national television as we speak. I am absolutely making myself available. I made myself available, Michelle, as you know, several times last year. I front question time every single day. What I find very interesting, though, is this is a protection racket to protect Bill Shorten. Way back last year, 
If the AWU had produced the evidence that those donations were properly authorised, the matter would have ended there and then. Is your point, is the AWU did actually release some documents last year, you might remember in October there were some documents that had both uh, Bill Shorten's signature and that, that of Caesar Mellon. And you they did not what? confirm what was required. Minister, you say it's a cover-up, but you, you won't answer, despite being asked more than <laughs> ten times yesterday, if you have been interviewed by the AFP, if you've had any contact with the AFP, have you given a statement to the AFP? Well, can Alice, you answer that once and for all? I think you and I both know that yet again this is subject to an AFP investigation. And can I again How confirm for the record, it is the not an AFP though. investigation into me. It is not an investigation into my office. The police commissioner himself made clear at estimates last year it would not be appropriate to comment. But as I have consistently said, and I again said in uh, Senate estimates yesterday, the absolute extent of my knowledge is as set out in the days after on Hansard record. That is the extent of my knowledge. Thank you very much.